Hello once again, class. I wanted to take uh, a little bit of time during this presentation to uh, demonstrate how to submit essays to the SafeAssign system in Blackboard. And I know I sent out some links uh, that Blackboard has provided about this, uh, but I hope that this presentation can uh, maybe simplify things and, and show you how, how this is done. It's, it's very easy. If you've ever uploaded anything <laughs> online for any reason, then you'll know how to do SafeAssign. And I'm sure uh, many of you have probably used SafeAssign in, in other classes. So let's go ahead and open up Blackboard. And show you what we do first. So here you see the Blackboard announcements page. This is, of course, the first page that you come to, uh, you know, after signing into Blackboard and after clicking on um, your class. Uh, this yellow bar at the top, just ignore that. Uh, I, you know, I'm the instructor, so I have a slightly different view a slightly different interface with Blackboard than you do, uh, but I can set it so that I'm looking at it as a student would. So that's what the yellow bar means. You, you will never see this yellow bar at the top of your Blackboard uh, site. So when you're ready to submit a paper, you will go to the course modules section of Blackboard and you'll click on the appropriate module. We are organizing our modules basically uh, based on the essay, the paper that we're currently working on. And of course, we have all of this material in here. At the very bottom, you will see the Safe Assign Submit folder, and it will indicate what paper it is that, uh, that you're submitting. So just click on that folder. And right now you see two links, the draft link at the top and the final link here at the bottom. Uh, as soon as uh, we get done with this presentation and upload it to YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and post this video here in this folder as well. So there will be a, a third thing in this folder, but it's not there now. So Safe Assign is um, an assignment upload uh, application that is uh, uh, sort of a tool contained within Blackboard. And um, it's handy for two primary reasons. Um, it can link to the gradebook so that when students submit a paper uh, from the professor's point of view, that assignment is linked to the gradebook. A professor can open up the paper in SafeAssign, comment on it, uh, and then grade it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be using the comment feature in Blackboard. My plan is to comment on papers in Google Docs, uh, but it, there may come a time when I share with you some, some commented on work within Blackboard. We'll just see. Uh, and of course, it serves as a, you know, sort of storehouse, a repository for assignments. SafeAssign is also useful because it contains a plagiarism checker. When you upload an essay to SafeAssign, uh, the software scans your essay and checks it against a variety of databases and sources and the open web, and it looks for anything in your paper that seems to have been taken from another source. So uh, I, uh, as your instructor, find this tool useful because I can see whether or not you have ripped anything off from another source, whether it's a web page or another student's paper or some other source, and put it in your paper. And um, 
I'm just going to remind you about uh, a point of policy. Uh, if you do commit plagiarism and it's obvious plagiarism, you know you're doing it, you know you're ripping off a bunch of stuff and sticking it into your paper, um, I'm going to call you out on it and I'm going to fail you from the course. So the plagiarism checker in here is very important. Now, I use it, but you can use it as well. When you have the paper draft and if you would like to check to make sure that you haven't accidentally plagiarized anything, you can submit your paper to the draft link. Okay? Uh, if you want to submit a paper to me for me to grade, you will submit that paper to the final link. So these are both links to SafeAssign, but I've set up two separate submission links. The draft link is for your use. If you want to double check to make sure that you haven't accidentally done any plagiarizing, uh, this comes in handy, especially when we're, you know, quoting material from stories and from perhaps research sources. But when you are ready to submit your paper for grading, you will go to the final link. And so I sort of explain that purpose of the draft link here and explain some of that stuff here in the final link as well. Uh, before we open up SafeAssign, let me just point out this note about file types. Okay, SafeAssign can read a variety of file types, but it can't read everything. Um, I would prefer that you submit your paper as a Microsoft Word document or a rich text format document, that's an RTF extension, or a text file, that's a just a simple TXT file extension, or perhaps as an open document text that's an ODT file extension um, open document texts are created by uh, word processing systems like Apache OpenOffice and, and some others uh, we prefer Microsoft Word files um, if you are composing your essays in you know Google Docs that's great uh, but you should download that essay as a Microsoft Word document before submitting. You don't want to upload a what we call a GDoc. That's the extension for a Google document file. Uh, SafeAssign cannot read Google documents. In addition, do not submit a PDF file or a PDF version of your essay. SafeAssign can scan those and it will read those, but I cannot easily convert that into a Google document without screwing up all the formatting. So that's just a no-no. Do not submit PDF documents to SafeAssign, please. Do not submit HTML documents, documents written as a web page. And if you're a Mac user and you're using Pages, um, which is sort of the in-house Mac word processing software, um, you don't want to submit a pages file to SafeAssign either. SafeAssign cannot read and scan pages files. You should be able to download a pages file uh, or a document written in pages. You should be able to download it uh, maybe as a, as a Microsoft Word document, uh, but certainly as a rich text format or a text file. Uh, if you're using some other esoteric uh, word processing system, um, you know, my advice would be to maybe use Google Documents. One of the great things about Google Documents is that you can, you know, upload uh, documents, convert them into Google Doc, and then download them as yet another file type. So Google Docs can kind of serve as a file translator uh, tool as well. Uh, if you have any questions about any of that, you know, just please ping me, let me know. Okay, I also make a note here about the file naming conventions 
for naming files. We talked about this a little bit in the MLA formatting presentation. So please make sure that you've uh, viewed that and that you've studied the MLA formatting instructions and that you've formatted your essay correctly before submitting it. Okay, so we're ready to submit our paper for grading. We're gonna go ahead and click that final upload link. And you'll see here the due date is indicated. That's the due date that's represented in the calendar in Blackboard. Uh, points possible, 100. I don't use points, but the, the system requires that I put in a point value. So just you can just ignore that. Uh, here we've got, uh, again, that note about file types that are preferred. And the file naming convention, basically those same notes that were on the previous page. And we have a little bit of um, fine print here. It says, by submitting this paper, you agree that one, you are submitting your paper to be used and stored as part of the safe assigned services in accordance with the Blackboard privacy policy. And two, that your institution may use your paper in accordance with your institution's policies. And three, that your use of safe assign will be without recourse against Blackboard Incorporated and its affiliates. So that's just the legalese. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I really don't think that ACC or Blackboard is going to download a copy of your essay and, and post it on a web page or on a billboard or something. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, up next, you can actually write your submission within SafeAssign. Don't want you to do that. Can't really format it correctly, and that's just an ugly way to to submit an essay. So write your essay, you know, in Word or Google Docs or something. Download the file, and then be prepared to upload the file into SafeAssign. And to do that, we'll go to the Attach Files button. And I have paper one here on my desktop, so we'll go ahead and open that. Notice it is in docx format. That is one of the acceptable document types. You know, SafeAssign does give you a little note here. This is what SafeAssign has written. It says SafeAssign accepts files in doc, docx, docm, PowerPoint, PowerPoint X, open document text, text, RTF, PDF, and HTML. So it will read those, it can scan those, and accept those. But, you know, I'm asking you not to submit PDFs. I'm asking you not to submit HTML files. I'm asking you to please try to submit in doc or docx format or ODT text file or RTF. Those would be acceptable as well. If you submit a paper in a format that either SafeAssign won't accept or I won't accept. I will email you right away. I will ask you to resubmit the paper to SafeAssign in a correct format, and I will probably ask you to email me the paper in that correct format as well. Please be mindful of that. The next thing you'll see here is, um, oh, by the way, You'll notice next to the Browse My Computer button, there's a Browse Cloud Storage. Uh, this is a new function in Blackboard, and frankly, I'm not that familiar with it. But I guess Blackboard can perhaps link to perhaps Google Drive, and you can upload papers directly from Drive. I frankly haven't had any experience with that, so I just wouldn't mess with the cloud storage for now. I mean, feel free to investigate it on your own if you'd like. Uh, I just would, you know, browse your computer and upload the file from your uh, your desktop or from, you know, one of the folders in your uh, on your desktop. Uh, next is the plagiarism tools. Um, so it gives you this checkbox in which you agree to submit your paper to the global reference database. I'm going to click that. Now, what does that mean? That means that when you submit your paper, it is stored in a database of student papers that SafeAssign um, maintains. And that's, I guess, kind of related to this legalese up here earlier. Um, the idea is that this global reference database is one of the databases that new uploads are checked against. So if 
you you know <laughs> wrote a paper and in fact you didn't really write it you borrowed your friend's paper and your friend was in my class or in a composition two class in an earlier semester and you're just going to turn in that same paper well if your friend uh, submitted the paper through SafeAssign and it's sitting in the global reference database when you upload your document it will detect the match and it will call it out as having been plagiarized um, you know I, I this this doesn't happen often but I will tell you in my teaching experience it has happened I had an experience once where a student of mine found uh, an essay that another student of mine had printed off in the library and had forgotten and it was just left there on the printer and this student realized what was going on realized that he had a paper uh, for the same assignment that he was working on and he went ahead and just retyped it and put his name on it and he was caught using this this system and he, he was he failed my class as a result so it's your choice whether you want to give safe assigned permission to put your paper into this database I really urge you to do it because it's really sort of protecting your intellectual property uh, next you have the option to add any comments um, you know if you need to tell me something about your upload or anything at all about your paper I would prefer that you just email me rather than commenting in the safe assign okay it looks like we're all set we can save the draft before we upload you know in case we need to double check something um, but looks like we're good to go so we're going to click submit and you can see that at the top you know the page sort of refreshes at the top we have this greenish bar with a message that says success your submission appears on this page the submission confirmation number is and then it gives you this horribly long number and letters copy and save this number as proof of your submission you may do that if you wish view all of your submission receipts in my grades so you should be able to also go to the gradebook my grades over here look under the column for paper one and you'll see a little icon that shows that you have submitted the paper you can also see the paper presented here in this little preview mode right so you if you see the green bar with this receipt confirmation number and you see your paper sort of small here in this little preview mode that means you have successfully submitted your paper to safe assign please do not email me asking if you have successfully submitted your paper if you see these things you have now there's always going to be someone who has some problems uploading to safe assign uh, sometimes if you don't have your settings set correctly on your computer safe assign will not allow you to submit uh, sometimes blackboard is glitchy sometimes safe assign is glitchy so if you are submitting your paper and you maybe get a red banner that says submission failed or you don't see any of this evidence that you have submitted correctly uh, why then you can just email me the paper directly okay and we can try to figure out what went wrong and see if we can fix it and make sure it doesn't happen a second time now if you look over to the right you'll see the word safe assign here and next to it report in progress so what's happening here is that safe assign is busy scanning this paper and generating the safe assign uh, report to determine what if anything from the paper seems to be coming from other sources so we can drop that down and it's notice it's still in progress sometimes it takes several minutes sometimes even longer for, for safe assign to generate this report what you can do is just go up and refresh uh, the page a few times until you see a percentage here 
Um, or, you know, you can sign out a blackboard and sign back in later and check, you know, whatever, whatever you'd like to do. We're going to look at that plagiarism report here in just a minute. Uh, but before we do, let me point out a couple of other things. You can download the paper from SafeAssign. You know, you've uploaded it, but let's say that you lose it on your computer. I mean, my goodness, knock on wood. Hope that never happens. You know, your computer gets fried or something and you lose the paper. Well, if you've submitted it to SafeAssign, it's there for you. You can download it. So you'll you'll have the copy safe and safe assign for you to, to download. Um, I've also given you five opportunities to submit a paper correctly. So there's always going to be someone who uploads maybe an early draft. You know, they think they're uploading the final draft, but it's actually an early draft. And to their horror, they realize that, you know, five minutes before deadline. Well, don't worry about it. If you discover that's the case, go ahead and click Start New, and you get another attempt to upload the paper. I will only read and grade the, the most recent upload of the paper, and I will go ahead and erase all other drafts that have been uploaded. Uh, to any one given safe assigned link. Okay, so um, what I've done actually, before we started this presentation, uh, I went ahead and uploaded this paper to the draft link. Sometimes that plagiarism report takes a while to generate. I didn't want to just sit here waiting for that to, to occur. So I went ahead and did it early, but I did it in the draft link. So let's open that draft link up. And here we have the paper, same paper. And you'll notice the plagiarism report reads 69% overall match. Well, that's definitely raising a red flag. Generally speaking, if you are hitting, you know, 20% match or over, I'm going to open up your plagiarism report and take a look and see what's going, especially if the paper is, you know, a short type of paper. So let's open up the plagiarism report and see what's what. It, they call it the originality report. So we have a button here we can click that opens up a new tab. It will show you your essay. It won't be formatted correctly. It's, again, kind of in a preview mode. But what SafeAssign does is it highlights anything that looks suspicious, anything that seems to come from another source. And then in this right-hand panel, it lists those sources. So it looks like we've found a couple of hits from the global database. That's that student database. And then there's also a separate institutional database of essays. All right. So we can go in to any of these color coded highlighted sections and click on them. And then we get a comparison between what is in the essay here and what seems to be the original writing from some other source out there somewhere. So here you can see the match isn't a perfect 100% match. It's only a 78% match. Okay. Well, SafeAssign calls that out. If it looks close to the original writing, it's going to call that out. Now, this highlighted bit here, it's only one sentence long, um, is something I received in an email. And this original source is coming from some student paper or something, um, you know, it hasn't been plagiarized. The wording just happens to be very similar. Uh, you know, I think you'll find that this happens often. Here we go. Number one, student paper. We can highlight and unhighlight the match as well by clicking that little icon, that little highlighter icon. Uh, you know, you'll find that, you know, in some cases, there's only so many ways to say a certain thing. That's certainly true when it comes to plot summary. Um, so, you know, you may find that you have writing of your own that is similar to writing from a source. Um, you know, as long as you haven't just ripped it off intentionally, 
it's really not a problem. You know, maybe if it's a close match, you might want to go in and try to reword it in a different way. But that's always going to happen, and that's that's just unavoidable. There's only certain ways to word certain ideas, and safe assign will you know safe assign is is a pretty um, robust tool, but it's also just a piece of software. It's dumb. It 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 can't it can't detect intent. It's only detecting. Uh, matches in, in, in grammatical structure and vocabulary and things like this. If we look at this next chunk, number two here, this pretty long bit of writing, this is actually about Sonny's Blues. This is a 100% match. Well, I tell you, when I put this test document together, I went into a, a uh, what's called a content farm. It's basically a a website that contains a lot of information about um, uh, essays and stories and novels and literature as well as other academic subjects and it compiles it for student use it's kind of like Cliff's Notes when I was young and um, you know a lot of it's for free but ultimately they do start wanting to charge you for more complicated things like essays uh, and frankly, um, the safe assign detected this, but it didn't show me or didn't indicate the web page that it came from. It turns out another student sometime in the past went to that website. And of course, that stuff's going to be repeated on multiple websites and ripped it off and put it in his or her paper and uploaded it to safe assign. And we have a 100% match here. So if I see something like that, it's a 100% match from another student's paper. What that's going to tell me is that both you and this other student ripped something off, probably from the same web page or from the web, from one of these content farms. And that's plagiarism. And that's going to earn you an F in the course. You know, if you're having trouble writing out plot summary or anything at all, ask. It's much better to acknowledge that you're having difficulty and you're seeking help than trying to plagiarize something because that is just going to ruin you. Here, this next highlighted bit, we'll click on this. This is a 95% match. This is actually a bit from a student of mine from uh, last semester. She uploaded her paper to Safe Assign and it detected it. We go down here, there's a little bit more writing about Sonny's Blues. I went into this, I got this from a web page, and I went in and I made some changes. I went in and switched some words around, I took out some words and replaced them with others. But notice it still calls out a 66% 66 likeness, a 66% match and that is totally accurate it is definitely taken from a source without attribution uh, intentionally it is plagiarism here we have another section the same kind of thing this one's a little closer match 97 percent you know the safe assigned system studies not only individual word choices and vocabulary but also grammatical structure and syntax and that's what it scans when it runs its plagiarism checker Right, so this is a work, an essay that has uh, been highly plagiarized, <laughs> and the safest sign has called it out. Right, so this is this is what safe assign is is used for. Now, like I said, your draft link is for you to use. I I will not go into the draft link and look around for anything unless I can't find your paper in the final link. Uh, the draft link is for your use. If you want to just run it through the plagiarism checker and see whether or not, you know, there's any wording in there that seems too close to some source, you know, you want to be an ethical writer, so you want to try to write original sentences, um, the draft link is useful for that. When it comes time 
for more complicated essays, maybe when you're using outside sources, you will be doing some of that, of course. Uh, you can use the draft link to make sure that you're paraphrasing well, you're putting things in your own words well, uh, or that if you're quoting, you're quoting correctly, and that you're putting quote marks around the quotes, and that you're citing things when they need to be cited, and, and so on. So the draft link can be useful for you. Uh, when you upload a draft to the draft link, and, and this is not required, this is just an option for you, when you do that, I've set it so that your paper does not go into the global database. So that means you can upload to the draft link, check the plagiarism originality report, fix whatever you want to fix, and then when you upload it to the final link, it won't recognize your own paper and say, well, this is 100% plagiarized or something like that. So that paper in the draft link won't go into the global database. So that's a run through of how to submit to the safe assign system. Uh, take a look at that uh, presentation again if you need to. It's again, it's pretty easy. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, the links I sent out earlier from Blackboard also, you know, explain a number of these points. Um, if you are attempting to upload your paper to safe assign and again you're getting a red banner saying that the upload failed or you know you're not seeing any evidence either in the green banner or the preview window or if you go to the gradebook and you don't see anything there under the the correct essay column it just doesn't seem like safe assign has accepted your paper uh, then go ahead and email me your essay, you know, with a, 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 a note attached saying, you know, hey, I'm having to email you because safe assign doesn't seem to work. Uh, there's always going to be a handful of students who, who that is true for. Uh, but we'll see if we can iron that out for future papers. And again, if you ever have any questions about this or anything else, let me know.